Okay, Kopech. Six rounds rapid. Required 15-inch group. Range 25 yards from standing position. Fire when ready. Okay, Kofak, that's it. From here on in, you're driving a desk, and if you ever get your hands on even a BB gun, you show got a be... problem, Riley. Problem? <laughs> He's got the problem. He just found range again. You check his target? Check his target? I can't even see his target. Riley, regulations clearly state that the officer in charge of the range shall check the targets before filling out the score sheets. Article 374, subsection D. Now, I see that Kopec isn't due for a small arms re-examination till next month. So you can log this as range practice, okay? No way, Broom. No way! Regulations, Ryan. Kopec! Thank you, sir. Kopec! Yes, sir? Thank you, sir. Get out! Yes, sir. Out! I'm sorry, sir. Give him an evasive answer. Tell him to get lost. As I was saying, Broom, the whole department is overextended. Yeah, Kaminsky. What do you mean you lost him? What are you, a policeman or a wet nurse? You'll be back pounding a beat if you don't watch it. And no more calls. Yes, Johnson, what can I do for you? Or better still, get out! Well, Broom. Let's get down to it. Now, we're getting a lot of static from upstairs. This whole department is getting a bad reputation. We're understaffed, but we've got to carry on. Remember, to serve and protect. Ouch. Well, Stitsky, where are they? My pants! You said you'd have them back here when I got through at the mayor's office. Well, bring them in here. There is not enough attention paid to detail around here, Broom. Yeah. Well. Yeah, Broom. You got a tough assignment. You got to keep out of sight. But the whole department will be watching you. Symbolically, of course. Of course, sir. Yeah. There's a photograph there on my desk, Broom. Two of the most despicable characters that have come our way in a long time. Professional criminals, Broom. Men who are a threat to society. Men who'll do anything to serve their own ends. Leo Ruggiero and Vito the Trigger Vitale. Known members of a crime syndicate. Oh, they might have got past transport terminal surveillance, but not for long, because you're going to find them, Broom. You're going to find out why they're here. And you're going to nail them to the wall. Symbolically, of course, sir. Literally, if necessary, I want results. Trust me, sir. You'll need a partner. Of course, sir. Who do you want? Kopek, sir. Can't break up a winning team. That is, if he's not wanted somewhere else. Oh, no. No, no. He's not wanted. <laughs> he's all yours. Hello, Riley. Hello, 
this is Riley. Oh, uh, is Sergeant Broom there, please? Who wants him? Uh, it's Officer Kopeck, sir. Kopeck? Kopeck? Well, he's not here. I'll see if he's outside. Uh, no, no, sir. You don't have... Sir, hello? There you are, Kopeck. Oh, Sergeant Broom, I was just looking for you. I was trying to get you on the phone. Sergeant Riley's looking for you. I'll go find him and tell him I found you, all right? Sergeant Broom's not here. This is Broom speaking. Um, your buddy is looking for you. Here oh, he is. Sergeant, I, uh, it's okay. Th sir? Hello? 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 Who is this? This is Officer Kopeck speaking. Kopeck, this is Broom. We have an assignment. Yes, sir. Um, just a moment, sir. Um, just one second, all right? Right with you. Sorry. I was. Ooh. Ooh. Finish your car, sir. You know. Sorry, sir. I was just looking for a pencil. Okay, Kopeck, let's go. There's not a mark on it, Kopeck, and I want it back the same way. Sign here. You know me, sir. The uh, spring's a bit loose, I think, sir. that bit off. We ain't taking any bits off. We're not broke down, we're just pretending. Hey, let's go. Okay. Suspect bank robbery vehicle, now confirmed as late model Honda sedan. Round with racing stripes. One Delta 12 in pursuit east and west. One Delta 12? It's Clark and Mendoza, isn't it, sir? Regario and Vitale. Ah, oh, Regario and Vitale. I don't think I know them. Are they robbery? Robbery, arson, homicide, you name it. Anyway, some guys get all up the brakes. <laughs> Mendoza robbery. What about Regario and Vitali? They organized crime. I thought we were organized crime. We are, but they're for and we're against. Go play! Why, you son of a bitch! Charlie the Wheel. Oh, Sergeant Pro. Uh, 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 uh. I thought you were gone for five years. Commuter sentence, extreme hardship. Uh, uh. So what is it this time? More of the same? I didn't know there was anything in the truck, so help me. I'm only driving it, you know. I mean, I stopped off the deli for hot corn beef, and he must have got in. All right. Who got in? How should I know? I mean, anybody. There's a lot of criminals around, you know that? Hey, like these two torpedoes. Oh, yeah? That bad news. Just in for Motor City. Now. Guys like these two, I can help you with. 
you know. <laughs> you scratch my back and I scratch yours. Symbolically, of course. All right. What do you know about these two? They're always hanging around the concert hall. Kopech! Sergeant Brule, I didn't know there was anything back there. For heaven's sake, Sergeant Brule. Ah! Kopech! All right. Where are they? Who? Never mind that now. Come on, get in the car. What do you think I am, dumb? I'm not that stupid. Come on, get in there. Move! Disobeying a superior officer. Bro, well, I should have known. Now look after this, Kopech, on the double. Right, you, come on. Good work, bro. We like to get off on a flying start, sir. It'll all be in Kopech's report. Excuse me, sir. Hey, you! What's your name? Doc Stetter. Doc Stetter what? Doc Stetter, sir. Sir. There's one Charlie the Wheel in my car. Get him over here. Sir! Quick off the mark, eh, Broom? And I suppose you'll uh, grab the other two before the afternoon's over. Wouldn't be surprised, sir. Sir, there's nobody there. You lost them? No, I said there's nobody in the car. Don't make things any worse than they are, Doc Stetter. Look, my eyes don't lie to me. I told you there's nobody in the car. That's what All I mean. All right, let's mark it down to youth. This is car 54, Sergeant Roscoe Broom, organized crime squad. I want an APB, Charles Alexander Murphy. That's with a PH, otherwise known as Charlie the Wheel. For the mercantile bank job this morning, wanted for burglary, extortion, grievous bodily harm, possession of stolen property, assaulting a police officer, and avoiding arrest. <clears throat> Also, failing to remain at the scene of an accident. Car 54 out. Lucky for you, I know him. We'll have him in no time at all, sir. No thanks to you, Doc Stetter. Now see if you can clear up the rest of this mess without losing anybody else. Sir! Kopech. Charlie the Wheel. You'd never think you was capable of a job like this, sir. Just goes to show, you can never tell about a person by just looking at him. Kopech? This car isn't going to work out, sir. OK, Ma. Yeah, I'll call Beverly. What? Stephen and Lisa? Huh? OK. Jordan, too. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What? I gotta... I gotta go, Ma. Had to bring the car back. Uh, uh, sometimes you just get a lemon. Lemon? <laughs> lemon? Concert hall. It's right there. Good work, Kopech. Thank you, sir. Sir, what's a couple torpedoes doing hanging around a classy joint like this? Hang in, Kopech. It's the only lead we got.
with you. Cut that out. What are you talking about? We gotta burn them, don't we? No, we don't got to burn them. We gotta put a snatch on it. Now put it away. Go on, put it all away. All right. Away. All right, all right. <laughs> Again the from letter, eh, Miss Victoria. Breathe deeply, grandioso. Is that is that the one? No, no, shh. What are you doing? I'm rehearsing. What's it look like? You're rehearsing the wrong show is what it looks like. Come on, you'll be late. Rick, I can't leave. J.K. will be here soon. Have you told him yet? Well, not yet. See you later. Where are you going? Hey, look, if your uncle finds out on his own that you're dancing at the Orchid and that I hired you, it could get sticky. <laughs> I thought you told me you were going to can all this crap and tell him. All right, all right. Mm. Look, just give me ten minutes, then I'll meet you outside. Okay? Miss Lewinek, you have a voice, I must admit. But you got completely the wrong attitude to do your status. Even I, the great Gino Frescobaldi, cannot make a diva out of you. No matter what your uncle might say. I'm sorry, Maestro. Shall we try again? We'll try again. And what are you doing here? I thought I told you to stop sniffing around my niece. I have business here. Your business is taking care of my business at the Orchid and nowhere else. Henry? Sir? Throw him out. Yes, sir. I was just leaving. Thank you, sir. That's the one. No. Hey, get down. Piece of pizza, sir. Ooh. Anchovies, Kopeck. Anchovies. See, see. has a marvelous voice, Henry. Unique, sir. When my brother entrusted her to me, his final wish was that she should pursue her career as an opera singer. Yes, I think our debut will cause Quite a stir in musical circles. Undoubtedly, sir. Bravo! Magnificent, my dear. Maestro, you must be very proud. Without you, my niece would not be making her debut. 
Just think of it. In a few days' time, opening night, the house filled, the whole world will know that you are responsible for bringing forth this remarkable talent. Victoria, my dear, Henry will take you home. You want to play some gin? Shh. Come on. There she goes. Come on. <coughs> Until tomorrow, maestro. You will be good, Come on. My chop. My chopper stop. <coughs> Me responsible. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Going after the broad. Come in. Yeah. Is Lou and Hack the cars out there? What are we gonna do? We're gonna snatch the broad and bounce the muscle. Oh, yeah. Good. Just like when I was with Bugsy Spiegel. by my chopper.
Well, sir, what do we do when we spot them? We maintain surveillance, Cope. Aha. Uh -huh. Until we can apprehend them in flagrante delecto. Huh? At it, Kopek. At it. Ah. Oh. There they are, sir. Good work, Kopek. Kopek, get down and see it. Kopek, the horn. Now, don't worry. Ma, Ma, I gotta go, Ma. Ma, I gotta go. You have something to do. You want to play some gin? Don't you ever think of anything but cards and booze? And broads. And business! Like dumping the limo. Hey. Hey, leaving it out there, they... They could put the finger on us. Right. I'm hungry. Huh? Go pick up a pizza. All right. Come on. Yeah. Now, listen. Yeah. Hold the anchovies. Yeah, they put anchovies on, I'll kill them. Just a reaction, you know, like lightning. Come on, let me have it. All right. I'll let... <laughs> Give me the gun. I feel naked without it. Listen, just get the pizza and move it. I gotta see the boss. Things were a lot different when I was with Bugsy Spiegel. He never talked to me like that. Sending a naked man after pizza. <laughs>
police. This is J.K. Lonehack. I have to report a kidnapping. My niece, Victoria. And fade. Applause, applause, applause. If you're lucky. Hmm. Okay, girls, go on left. You girls, come on right, and we're into the tap routine. Eddie, Eddie, where are you? Eddie, where are you? It's your cue, darling. It's your blues. Uh, I said blue, Betty. Betty, that's blue as in sad. As in fire. Do you know what I got back there? I got 60 amps back there. When I was a kid, my mother had more for cooking. And on top of that, I've got original wiring by Edison. So if Nurayev here wants 2K front of house and sound on all at the same time, then all he's going to get is the fire chief up his ass. All right, Bruce. Sort this out. You can't have what there ain't. Well, I don't know how I'm expected to put on a new show in three days and work my butt off in the old one at night. If Busby Berkeley can do it, you can do it. That's in the movies. That's not real. Did anyone ever tell you you have great legs? No, you you could talk me into anything. OK, girls, bustle, bustle, bustle. Let's get this turkey on the road. Rick, I've got something for you. I got to go. I haven't got I've got time. it. Got what? An idea. Oh, excuse me, miss, if you're not too busy. Could you make your change? OK, girls, let's go. Eddie, hit the music. OK, girls. Tips, teeth, and a lot of charm. Let's go! In it! Yeah! You're in the wrong costume. And... Okay, dragon lady! My love is. Give us some warmth! You can get 25 years in the slammer for this. Only if it's for real. And only you and me know that there's more than one of me. So, if one of me's kidnapped and the other isn't, then no one's been kidnapped at all. It's that simple. It's that simple? No. Look, you came down here, auditioned, I gave you a job, right? Then you tell me you're J.K. Lewinhack's niece and you're supposed to sing opera. You're nuts, you know that. You got all the money you want, you got a chauffeured limousine, you got a secretary, for Christ's sake. And all you want to do is some dumb number with that faggot and a lousy show and a lousy club. It's not a lousy club. It is a lousy club. I run the place, I should know. Well, I want to make it on my own. You got it. You want to play weird games with your rich uncle, include me out. So you got trouble singing and dancing at the same time. Tell him yourself. I'm going to. After I've been kidnapped. Why? Because then he'll be able to justify canceling my debut and he won't feel that I let him down. It's simple psychology. Understanding the male ego. You're fired. You're fired. Ruby can do the show. Vicky! Rose is screaming for you. Hi. You're late. One and two and three and one and two and three and the rig go away. Thanks and one and two and three. Legs, will you listen to the... You know that dummy will never make a dance around her legs. You ought to get rid of her. You kidding? With a body like that, who cares if she can dance? And one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Oh, girls, those of you who can count, please count for me. Legs! Legs! Sachet, darling, sachet. You're playing Rosie O'Grady. Not Rosie Greer. Here, drop this off to Lou and Harris. Right away. Oh. Well, you're not moving yeah, right when everyone else is moving left. All right, Eddie. You'll take it from the top. It's the music! You got the note? Your niece has been kidnapped. You'll be contacted. Good. You'd better get out of here before the police arrive. Forget it. I take in both sides of the action. I can second-guess the police better than you. You're too smart for your own good. It's very simple. I merely revert to my alter ego. Hugo Steinmetz, the perfect gentleman's secretary, sir. <laughs> I think I made a mistake getting into this. You made a mistake getting into the organization for money. And next week, that girl comes into her estate and you don't get to smell at it anymore. Without that, our accountants feel that your loan lacks collateral. All I need is a little time. Look, I can still tell the police it was all a hoax, and then... I think your time just ran out. Shall I answer the door, sir? <laughs> Thank you, Hugo. Very well.
two uh, gentlemen from the police department to see you, sir. Show them in. Mr. Lernhack will see you now, sir. I've seen you before someplace. Uh, yes. I, I used to play pro ball. Hey, hey, never forget a face. No, no. <laughs> I played water polo for the uh, Vegas Dolphins, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, swim. <laughs> 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 Sir, Detective Sergeant Roscoe Room and Officer Cope. Mr. Lewenhack, you've reported a kidnapping. Yes, my niece, Victoria. The opera singer. We have our sources of information, Mr. Lewenhack. Uh, I think you'll find you can trust me, sir. Even at this early stage, I think I can safely tell you that we've been engaged in the vicinity of the concert hall, holding certain suspicious characters under surveillance. Two elves. Therefore, I can confidently state that I expect an early conclusion to this case, sir. Now, I understand you received a ransom note. Yes, it's here. Uh, uh, uh. Please hand it to Officer Kopek. Kopek. Has anyone handled this note, sir? Yes. I have. Other than you, sir. You go. Where are you going, Kopek? Mr. Lewenhack wanted me to answer the door, sir. Well, the doorbell rang and he asked me to go. I said you go. Kopek, he said you go. I was just going, sir. Not you go, you go. Hugo Steinmetz, my secretary. He handled it. What? The note. Mr. Lewenhack, Kopek, the note. Don't handle the evidence. You go. <sighs> Mr. Steinmetz, would you answer the door, please? Certainly, sir. One moment, sir, please. Sergeant, this letter is addressed to me. Police procedure, sir. Trust me. Kopek. Thank you. My niece has been kidnapped. His niece has been kidnapped. Your niece has been kidnapped. Don't handle the evidence. Clear, clear, clear. Uh, Give it to me. <laughs> You're next. How's the audience? Tacky, what else? Ladies and gentlemen, Bruce LaRousse. Bruce LaRousse is a loose. Clear the table boys. I'm a camera. Flasher in tonight? Nah, he hasn't been in since Louis got him with the hot coffee. There's a new one. Oh, what do we got now? Jack the Ripper or the Boston Strangler? No, oh, this one looks like the Phantom of the Opera. Terrific. <laughs>
Miss Vicky. to keep everything together by myself. Now, okay, girls. Got one more show tonight. I don't want anybody else running off, okay? Listen to madam, girls. Listen to madam. Why am I going to give her a piece of my mind? She thinks because Rick fancies her that she can get away with anything, huh? Discipline, Eddie. That's what little Miss Muffet needs. Discipline. Where is she? Oh, my God. Chauvinist pig. So when did you learn to read? Kidnapped. Eddie, they've stolen my baby. I don't believe it. What are we gonna do? I mean, such a tears. Let's get some help. Shut up! Jack, look! Kidnapped! Lock, 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 lock! Oh, I'm so nervous! Flanagan. Flanagan. Seems to have gone dead. Relax. I've got it. Be ready, sir. Go back to C-41. Would you sign there and there, sir? Police regulations, section 129, form C-41, granting permission to install a listening device on the telephone or telephones shall be completed and duly signed by the owner or lessee of the premises where they say telephone or telephones may be located, sir. What's all this stuff in any case? That, sir, is the very latest electronic surveillance equipment. You see, sir, you see, sir, when contact is made, excuse me, sir, the incoming call, sir, is, uh... Copex, stand by. Flying again. It's gone dead again. It's okay, sir. I've got it now. All right. Don't worry, sir. I have the situation completely under control, sir. Copec, you trace that column. Mobile surveillance unit seven area. Flying again. Form seven seven two. Folly equipment Security report. Coming call. Station C. Report back. One thing about police work, sir. We're we're always expected to expect the unexpected. It's... Kopech, have you traced that call? Sergeant Broom? What is it, Kopech? I've traced the call, sir. Good work, Kopech. Well, who was it? It's the chief, sir. Detective Sergeant Broom, sir. You go. Now hold it, Flanagan. You go. You go. In all my years on the force, Mr. Lewinhack, this is my first kidnapping with two ransom notes now. I told you, you can't come in. I don't care what you say. Mr. Lewinhack, your niece has been kidnapped. My niece has been kidnapped. His niece has been kidnapped. Salam. And uh, legs. All right, um, over here. Thank you. And Simone, please. Oh, thank you. And uh, leg. Our uh, legs. Cobra! What in God's name are you up to? You're an officer. You're grabbing it. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, quiet, please. Quiet. I'm here to conduct an investigation into the sudden disappearance of a member of your show. Now, I'm detect... Detective Sergeant Roscoe Broom. Now, I have to ask you a few questions. Hey, don't forget, they got a show to do. Don't worry, sir, this won't take long. If someone is covering something up, we will soon have it out in the open. I want to have a word with you. Shh. Number one, son. I 
understand that uh, one of you, one of you found this note. <laughs> yes, I found the note. Not that one. That one. <laughs> gather, girl, gather. You cute. Now, miss, you found the note, then what happened? Well, I fainted. Cooper, get some water. Oh, officer, you're so strong. Please train him, miss. No. Oh. <laughs> You said it would be smooth. It's smooth. What about the two other notes? Rip-offs. Listen, the way that girl's loaded, we're lucky we thought of this idea before somebody else did. We? All right, but I did it for you. Well, don't do me any more favors. You discovered the note here. No, it was there. The exact position of the note doesn't matter. Oh, but I thought you policemen had to be so careful about detail. For instance, if the note is in the mirror, you wouldn't see who came in the door. You see? You see, if you are sitting here, And you look in the mirror, you couldn't see who came in the door. They did. And they did. Didn't they? Yeah. Somebody came in that door, right? <laughs> Therefore, we know the note wasn't delivered until after she left the room, right? Anyone entering the room wouldn't have been observed by her, even if she'd been here, right? Which she wasn't, right? Right. Oh, you're so clever. All right. I'm sorry, miss. I know she wasn't here when the note was delivered. What I want to know is what you know about it. What happened after the note was delivered? Oh. OK, OK, OK. Everybody can change for the can-can number. And you don't forget your jockey shorts. Forget your jockey Keeping calm. Get out of here before I call the cops. So you can't go in there. There's something check. <gasps> oh my God. Uh, sir, Miss. What's the matter? Ain't uh, you never seen a lady before? I'm not with. I mean, sir. Hold that, Hunky. <laughs> yes, sir. Police procedure, sir. Doing that, yeah? Sir, it's Henry. Your chauffeur. Hold on. It's all right, it's uh, personal. Go on. Something terrible has happened. Matt, he's been kidnapped. Two ruffians grabbed her. They rendered me unconscious, and they've only just come to. I'm very sorry, Mr. Lewin. Right, I'll uh, look into that. So those other two notes were rip-offs, were they? Well, who's ripping off whom? Perhaps that gorilla of yours has gone into business on his own. <laughs> he wouldn't do that. You're right, he's too stupid. Well, you better straighten this thing out, hadn't you? Yeah, all right. Uh-uh. <sighs> Remember, number one son in there. Use a payphone. Well, I think this completes our interview, sir. What about that one? Which one was that, sir? The tall one. The duck. You mean the spot, sir? Hey, Stan! Come here, the first one to go here! Schwarz, sir? No, oh, I got nobody here by that name, sir. Copy. You, uh, looking for me? Uh, I wanted to ask... He wanted to ask you some questions. I don't. Sam, you're on! Catch you later. Don't go away. A 
Uh, Sergeant Broom. <laughs> Telephone. Wait here, Kopeck. Yes, sir. Yeah, we have the wrong merchandise. Someone else has got the real thing. We have to talk. I'll be there. One hour. Yeah. Three weeks on the job, and I ain't got to burn anybody yet, and they wonder why I'm a compulsive eater. Let me out of here, you creep! Come on and open this door! Shut it up, lady! The only way you're coming out of there is feet first. <sighs> Idle threats. If she only knew my hands was tied. <sighs> on top of it, I have to starve to death, too. It never, never worked out that way when I was working with Bugsy. What am I doing? <laughs> starve I don't for nobody. Let me out, <laughs> you creep! All right, all units to rendezvous at 0200 hours at the Crazy House. Stand for the car 007. Confirm rendezvous location. You heard me, Stitsky, the Crazy House. All right, see to it, Stitsky. Stand for the car 007. Observe correct radio procedure. Watch it, fellas, it's Broom again. That's it, Kopeck, the closing of another net. Oh, 200 hours. Kopeck? Yes, sir. I just hope she isn't in the hands of some pervert. I was thinking, sir. Yes, Kopeck? We've got an hour to rendezvous, right, sir? Yes, Kopeck. That's 60 minutes, right, sir? Yes, Kopeck. Can we get a pizza? I'm starving. No anchovies, Kopeck. Yes, sir.
Sorry. Come in the family, eh, Mario? Uh, a little bit. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. Hi, Luigi. Uh, Luigi, uh, I'd like a... A Mario. Oh, yeah, right. All the large pizza did it go, please, with the works. Oh, and Luigi, <laughs> double anchovies? Large to go, double anchovies. Thanks, Luigi. A Mario. Yeah, right. <laughs> If you want to go back there, it's okay. Dime. Me? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right down here. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. How's work? Well, it's a bit of a drag. <laughs> oh, no. It's busy. Haven't I seen you somewhere before? I come in here all the time. Yeah, I thought I'd seen you around. Yeah, I never forget a face. <laughs> yeah, anyway, well, it's better than being a hairdresser. You know, nothing but tease, tease, tease. Yeah, well, I'm still a tease. But now it's a strip tease. <laughs> yeah, in my line of work, you're on the go all the time, you know? <laughs> you have to eat on the run. What do you do? We'll take a guess. No idea. I'll give you a clue. To serve and protect. Oh, I give up. I'm a cop. 475. Right, thanks, Luigi. Mario. Right, Mario. We'll see you around. Yeah, I come in here all the time. Yeah, Good. I never forget a face. Ooh, I'm sorry. Hey, Luigi. Give me a big one to travel, will you? But Mario. That's not my name. That's not my name. Mario? Luigi. All right, Luigi. Make me a big one to go right away, will you? Let's go, Prado. Luigi, come in here. Come here. I am a Mario. This is Luigi. This is Victoria. Sandy, get me a ring quickly. Well, like a babe. How long? Couple of hours. He'll wake and think it was just a little nap. No after effects. Come on. What do you see, my car keys? Your car's not here. You came back with a fuzz, remember? I got a call from Vicky. I got to pick her up. Oh, how it's yeah, She's fine. Hey, what happened? Hey, can I have your car? Well, yeah, sure, but how do I get home? I'll drop you off. Come on. I haven't changed yet. Who cares? Hey, 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 what about my ride? All right, you can come with us. You better get your street clothes on, though. I am in my street clothes. Oh, God. You cannot see. You please don't ruin my career. Everybody, calm down. Get the car. You can't do that. Get the car. You're not going to get hurt. Into the front seat of the car. Let's go. Look at that. Hurry up, you two. Front seat. Let's go. Come on. Go. Hang on to your hat. Uh, well, it's quite possible, sir, overcome by the pangs of hunger, he's uh, popped out for a pizza. This isn't a picnic. Uh, there's nothing in his contract that says he shouldn't eat. Well, there's nothing in the contract that says you don't deliver.
right, let's go. Out of the car. Let's go. Move. Get in there. Go on, hurry. There, there. Get inside. Go on, hurry. Oh, that'll be him now. Leo! Yeah? Got that merchandise? What merchandise? The broad! Come on, move it. Well, she mustn't you... see me. This way. All right, right down to the left here now. Go on, move it. Go on, fast. Come on, move it. Uh, through the curtains there. In here. Hey, Leo. The boss is going to be pretty happy, I guess, with the job I've done here. Just like when I was with Spiegel. Oh, this... Shut up and get him in the room. Come on, move it. <sighs> Go on, you heard him. Get in the room. Get in there. Where did he come from? He was with her. Well, tie him up. Yeah, I'll get in there and tie him up. It's her, all right. She's got that singing teacher with her. I'll go in. You two stay here. You'd leave a young girl like me out here alone? Don't make me nervous. All right, come on. It just doesn't pay to be a sex goddess. Keep it down. What is that? I'll go and see. It's creepy in here. <laughs> There's a man looking at us. Where? Over there. There's nothing there. I'm not crazy. I thought I... Shut up. We gotta figure out what's going on. We'll split up. Ruby, you go. Looking at me. All right, Bruce, you. Go. <laughs> Don't make me nervous. I'm not going anywhere alone. <clears throat> All right, I'll go upstairs. You two stay here. It's the boyfriend. Then you better get her out of here. Get your man to take her for a ride or something while you sort this mess out. We can't afford to blow this now. One copy. Shh. Right, sir. I think. Shh. I think somebody should go for a policeman. I'll go. Ruby. All right, you men, pay attention. Now, for some of you, this is your first raid. Shh! Take cover! Not a ride. A ride is a drive. Is oh, a ride. Shut up. <laughs> shut up. And you shut up. Enough, you're enough, Chuck. Oh. 
handle the heat. Now take it downstairs and make yourself scarce. Come on, lady. Through, through here. Got one of them, I see, eh, Broom? Yes, sir. It's a Doc Stenner, sir. Take care of that one. And Doc Stenner, sir. This time, don't lose him. I mean, him. Yes, sir. The heat. I'll work a diversion. If they think we've got the wrong girl, they'll, they'll split. Think we've gone. Now, we're going in there. We're going to secure the building. Now, there's a young lady being held in there. No shooting. Follow me. This will be a standard operation 86. On the whistle. It'll be Hogan and his men upstairs. Sanchez, his men in that door, Kopeck, and the rest of you men follow me. On the whistle, wait for it. Arrest sir. Let Sorry, me out. sir. Let, Let her out, Kopeck. Sergeant Brown. Let me out. Release Miss Lumenak. Come on and open up this door. What the hell's going on here? I'll teach you to throw me in a bag, hunky. Wait a minute, miss. We're the police. Well, it's about time. I bet if I've been white, you've been here soon enough. Well, you don't Wrong do girl, that, eh, Broom? Sure you pay can. your taxes, and what do you get? I'm Some a... creep's throwing you in a bag, and no, you're coming but... by saying you're the law. I'm... Well, you She's don't not do that, Miss Lewin, actually. Me, Victoria? You sure you didn't forget your eyeglasses? <laughs> What do you want with Sanchez? He speaks Spanish, sir. But he speaks in Italian. Very clever. See what we're up against, sir? Carry on, Sanchez. Miss Luenak has been kidnapped. Quite aware of that, sir. They went that way. Didn't fool me for a minute, sir. They probably have her here someplace in the building. Kopeck, hit the lights. Rest of you, follow me. Hey, hey. Don't worry, sir. They don't stand a chance. All right, you man. Follow me. Kopeck, hit the lights. to resort to physical violence. <laughs> Do you speak English? Mr. Lewis. <laughs> good evening. Oh, good evening. Mr. Lewis. You're doing a fine <laughs> job. Go back! Go back! Yes, sir? Where are you? Over there. 
Over here, sir. Where's over here? Where are you, sir? I'm a... Come... Come back! All right, you're a... Power. Power. Mm -hmm. Um, Poco Polari uh, Italiano. There's gotta be a way out of here. On the whistle. Wait a minute, I saw this door first. I can't constantly be telling you men to take a door. Take, take a door! Take a... Hey guys, this way out! Can't we sit down and discuss this thing in a civilized way? Oh! Right, I'll get the gun. Right, that way. No, this way. Myself, Miss Lou and Hack, Detective Sergeant Roscoe Boone, and Officer Culpin. Oh. Don't worry, Miss. We'll have you out of here in no time at all. Men, I found the lady. Men, where? Men, where are you? Where? thing is being grossly mismanaged. All right. If I ran my business like All this, I don't All right. Know. Sergeant Broome? Sergeant Broome, where are you, Sergeant Broome? Wow! Oh, wow! Sergeant Broome? Sir, we got the whole situation under control. I thought you knew the way out of here. Yeah, well, it's uh, this way. Ah, this will be the door. It's about time. Ah! That was the wrong door. Good work, Hogan. Charge. Section 347, obstructing a police officer in the course of his duty. Section 1021, accessory before the fact. And Section 45, accessory after the fact. Hey, wait a minute. Doc Stenner, give us right. Yes, sir. I should have. And Doc Stenner, you're back on traffic patrol. Sir! 
Article 87A, physical violence upon the person of a superior officer. Miss Lewin, Hart! Uh, young Doc Sitter, he's... Miss Lewin, Hart! I'm coming, Miss Lewin! Lady, this is it. All right, stand back. Officer Flanagan received a citation from Chief Kaminsky and was assigned to permanent undercover duty. Leo Regario and Vito the Trigger Vitale, found guilty on charges of abduction, received suspended sentences and deported to Little Italy. J.K. Lewinhack, found guilty of conspiracy to abduct a minor and subverting the course of justice by bribing a juror. Case dismissed on a technicality. Decision upheld in the Supreme Court in a precedent-setting decision by Mr. Justice Lewinhack. <coughs> Charles Alexander Murphy with a otherwise known as Charlie the Wheel, found guilty on all counts, sentenced to 99 years in the federal penitentiary, eluded the arresting officer in the washroom of the criminal court, presently still at large. Victoria Lewinhack and Rick McHenry found not guilty of obstructing the police and lived happily ever after. Gino Frescobaldi, released on probation into the custody of his brother, Mario Frescobaldi, he continues to receive large fees for teaching the uninitiated to sing opera. <clears throat> oh, thank you. Gee, it was nice of Miss Lunak to send a car for us, sir. A gesture, Kopeck. A simple gesture. Are you sure about the outfit, sir? Trust me, Kopeck. You know, an opening night is a formal occasion, and a formal occasion demands correct time. Yeah, but I... Kopeck. When you see some of the other guests, you'll see what I mean. Doc and a quarter. Doc and a quarter? What do you think this is, the sand? Yes, sir, Miss Lumi. Sergeant Broom! Turn in the wheel! Go back! Grab him! Not him, you idiot! Not me either! Wait a minute! Pocket your coffee, you, sir? Yeah, thanks. Right. Go back! Hold him for police officers! Hey, you don't work here. Hey! Go back! Hey! Go back! What's going on? What's going on? 
out of here. Let me go. What are you How did you get out? Never mind. I'll settle with you. Go back. Follow that car. Go back. Not that car. That car. After that. Take the wheel. Sorry, sir. Emergency. Police department requires the use of this vehicle. Follow well, What am I car. going to tell Miss Lewin Hack? Where am I going to find the car? Master Kopak. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I distinctly to told you back there, Kopek, to turn right and you turn left. <coughs> I know, You sir. weren't paying attention. I was, sir. It was... Now you're the one that's going to have to make the report out, Kopek. I don't want to have anything to do with it. But, sir, back I... Back there, I remember distinctly. Turn right, I said. I thought you said that. And I... you go left. I'm right not... is right and left is left. I know that, sir. No, you don't, Kopek. Well, it's your weight, Kopek. I've been telling you about your weight. Sir, I mean... I'm not going to talk to Kaminsky about this, Kopek. I'm going to let you... You know what, Kopek? What, sir? I'm going on vacation. You can't. Gonna, don't say I can't. I can do it, Kopek. I've but got, Sergeant Brewer... Wait a minute. I've accumulated four... Tw I've accumulated about three weeks' leave. You can have my two weeks, too, sir, if you want. <laughs>